Hello everyone, this is Anna from Lexington Journals. I hope everybody's well today. Just before Christmas, I thought uh, a journal that had to, had to happen um, was a moon journal. And that's because with the new year, I always feel a moon journal is uh, something that will start a new year well. I have, I made one for myself as well a similar one to this it's just I think it's just one of these things I mean I, I love the moon so I I thought well I thought I'd uh, I create a journal um, for everybody I, I I have made two journals last year or maybe maybe three they were, they were all different but similar in in many ways and they were mainly requests from people so let's have a look at this one this one is a different I took a different approach when it comes to the cover oh. so this is this is um by a painting by by Edward Robert Hughes the weary moon and it's got quite thick ridges here it's it's quite supple and the back is 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 um the back is is again very stained without any designs on it a bit of a bit of gold on it a bit of bronze um, but but simple so i will show you inside it has the seam binding tie and uh, of course i have this paper i i i had run out and i i got quite a lot of it because i just love this paper love it apart from from being able to use it on end papers i used it on covers of journals as well in the past and also it's um it's just what i love about it is that you can cut cut pieces of it and use inside the journals as well to decorate and um, because it's got individual images as well so i i just i thought this would go this is just perfect for the end papers for this journal a little bit of, of color here as well a little bit of, of bronze and gold there's a pocket i just thought i'd add a little pocket here just a thin pocket i mean it's not very um it doesn't you can't put too much in it but you can actually you, you can put a paper here and it holds it well and this is this is a like a cover page i thought would look nice in this journal i have this table here astronomy table tables there are three of them sorry this is galileo um and the his with his telescope i and it's a painting i have um i have some uh, journaling cards here which i have in this pocket by the way this is a paper that has been discontinued it's, you can't find it anymore but um i managed to get a few of these i got a little book of these and um there's a, a, a some somewhere lots of images of the of the moon and medieval plates some chemistry paper and some more oh, this is astrolabs oh i love these um spheres There's another image of sphere here. This is Urania. I love this. This one was the one I used as a cover in the previous journals. I also love this one, so I used it inside here as well. And some more instruments here. This is from the gra Graphics Fairy. I, I like adding it into most of my journals. <laughs> um, there's the table of physical geography here some astrolabs again zodiac phases of the moon and this one um, is a pocket and i added some images here well it's got a few pockets these i thought would be nice as uh, of course i i love the spheres and um i thought one can separate the journal uh, in in the different different uh, uh sections i imagined uh writing about the different um the different moons and the different moons that that we get or uh the different um phases of the moon i don't know so i put these these spheres here for to section it here is a card i got from the british library and i thought it fits perfectly here there's um there's more of that paper that i was telling you about 
another instrument here. More, more here. Astrolabs. There's another sphere. There's another pocket, and and an envelope. And here I've attached this uh, another sphere. Plate here, Copernicus. This is synopsis of the universe. This comes from the graphics fairy. And this is Kepler. This is a painting, and I thought that that also has a place in this journal. There's another table here with the moon. A map of the moon and here is a telescope and this is a poem to the night also found on the graphics fairy there's the more phases of the moon here Telescope again. It's a solar system. Another map here. This is a favorite of mine. I love the colors the moon and the sun, planets. And here is just the, this is some scrapbook paper, but it actually has the astronomical calculations for some months months of the year I have for the six months and, and um, I added those here this is from an old diary of mine a Greek diary and it was the diary of the moon so it's 2001 so I added a page here an astrolabe here this is a sphere from the graphics fairy This is from the Graphics Fairy, very much loved image. It's another, um, another one of these spheres and a planet system. Side pocket. There's another instrument. This paper is, is coffee dyed and look at the, uh, I don't know how it turned out, so vivid. There's another table of the moon. Here are some journaling cards. I love the colors of these ones, just love them. And some more here, alchemy and creativity. And this is by, is by handwriting of Galileo. With all his different notes jotted down and drawings. A little another little image here a little, a little piece of ephemera and here I've made a couple of um, tags and a pocket there's a pocket there there's another diagram then more here some old ledger Clips of the moon. Again, the colors are very vivid, beautiful. There are some um, some more journaling papers here. It's the other side of this chart. It's astronomical calculations. A bit of washi. There's another sphere here. And I think these spheres are also fun for um, tucking things, so one can tuck things on the sides. There is space for writing, it's quite a bit of space for notes. Although I have added more images than usual because I thought it was a bit of a lookbook, this one, as well as an, a journal. 
but there's enough space for one to be creative in here as well. And this is very interesting. It says ge geologic map of the near side of the moon. It's all these details here and a um, lot of writing, which I could never be able to read, but um, too tiny. This is another astronomy astronomy um, image. And again, I, I, may, I use that in the journal cover as well. This is again, phases of the moon. And with more detail here, so. There's another um, little envelope I made. There's the moon again. Um, card, ephemera, a uh, journaling card. There's another sphere. This is also from the Graphics Fairy. And I created a little po pocket there. And this is a beautiful painting of the moon here. And um, really, um very much loved painting and um and the end so i hope you enjoyed this flip through i will have this journal up on etsy tonight I'll, I'll put it up tonight now that i have shown it to you and um, you'll have a chance of looking at it um, I think we're going to do it tonight. And uh, as there is a sale on already, it will be added. I will have the original price, but there will be, it will go into the sale as well. But I like to add the original price for people to know because they all, each journal, like each category of journals have their own price. So it's good to know for everyone. So yeah, but this will be on the sale. We will be talking again uh, soon. Have a lovely rest of your week. And a good weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.